uh, we have on the left side of the map a blue team by the name of Dicke Kinder Gaming, a German team. And we have BZ on Feldstad, Sipkaye. Wait, I'm screwing it up, right? Sepkaya. Never mind, it's um, <laughs> it's SK on the left side as the blue team with Five, Arthas, four, BZ three, um, two, on Feldstad and Tychus in the mid lane. Five, on top lane we have Linked on Broadwing. And bot lane is taken by Chen, it might be KB. And on the red side, we have in the top lane as the Abafa, we have Snow is back. Currently about to fight in the mid lane, we have Jokey as the Sitches. The fight did not in fact happen. We have Corvex playing as the Illidan, Gordon as the uh, as the Sergeant Hammer, and we have Yui on the Rhaegar. Alright, so let me fix the overlay here and... Once we have that set up, I think we should be good. Uh, almost, almost. Got it now. Okay, Arthas and Tychus, they're waiting. Yeah, Arthas and Tychus are waiting. They're waiting to see if the red team do come down and try and get a gank here. I like what's going on in this top lane, where Abafa is just soaking a lane on his own, so they can still have the roaming squad, and he is doing a pretty good job of it. Brightwing can't actually kill this off that quick. Oh, and Jockey catching out, uh, catching out of position, oh, and he, he's fine. Yeah, he's good with Abathur on his back. He's in a good spot, but Deathcape is not. Uh, we trying to body he's block him, block, doing a lot of damage, and Gordon That's does not. the. F I think that was the final hit. Semke gets hooked in as well. He's being dropped very low here. He goes down as well, thanks to Abathur, and that is a fantastic start for uh, Griffiths. Um, that is Griffiths, I believe. No, no it's, it's Dick of Kinder Gaming. Dick Kinder Gaming, yes. I have, I have no idea who we're casting anymore. <laughs> Digger Kinder Gaming, um, they have been playing for quite some time. Not making making these really top finishes, but right now getting the uh, first two kills here on SK. They have a nice setup. Um, we have Stitches, Abathur, Illidan, Sar Sergeant Hammer. <laughs> okay, and Rhaegar. On the other yep, hand... Oh, Gordon's been caught. He's boosting out of there. He goes down to a grenade. Sergeant Hammer taken down. Oh, Sergeant Hammer on bot lane by herself, uh, that's really dangerous against Chen, yeah. Arthas, and Tychus. How's Abathur doing in top lane? He should be in a good spot against Linked. Um, no one really taking any uh, any gate damage yet. But of course jumping on top of these minions. Hey, Kalsnix. So I take it the community cup is over. Uh, there was a community cup. Oh no, wait, that's uh, our local stuff. Oh, Deathcape moving in. There's a good hook uh, out of Jockey. And Deathcape, can he get away? Low. Yes, he can. Yui being also being dropped very low with this slab. Hit. Oh, sorry, if anything hits him, he is able to back out though and stay alive. Current kill count two to two. Teams yeah. able to keep it even at the moment. XP slightly in favor of SK because they're having a better job of farming the top lane. And that was a very convenient fly for BZ. Using his fly to get to the top lane to gather XP and the tribute spawning right next to him so he doesn't have to walk all the way to where it is. Very convenient for SK. Yeah, SK also already in a pretty good position. Uh, they have Tychus next to the next to the tribute and yeah, they're just forcing Abathur and Illidan out of this. And that's the problem if you have Abathur on Cursed Hollow in the early game because he can't really help out in these early tribute pickups. So that's the first tribute going to SK. Yep, indeed. First tribute going to SK. Snow is back. Still just doing a really good job of soaking this top lane himself. He's been getting most of the XP from it, not miss only missing out on a couple of pieces. Wow. And his team, his team relatively were okay. Descape and Sebache. Are they going for the bruisers here? Wow. That is quite a ballsy move, but that going completely unscouted. Move. Oh, Corvex and Jokey, they're coming up in that direction. Jokey might see them, but it's going to be too late. Down it goes, and they are out. Jokey trying to get in, but he gets damaged by the bruiser and hooks the wrong way. Not able to catch them out. That bruiser, Those bruisers going to drain some ammo, going to slow it down, going to distract... Uh, going to distract Ikinda Gaming for a bit. And that, that's a, actually a good move here on SK's part, because they knew, okay, Tychus and Arthas, we can't really get in a good position to gank someone, but we're using those uh, those mobile gank squads to take the take the camps, take the bruiser camp, take the siege camp, and just lay siege to um, yeah, lay siege to dig a game of gaming. And that's the next tribute coming in. 
on top and on SK's side once again. Yep, SK though. Be they do have three people up here once Faustad comes down. Sepkia hiding just out of range does reveal himself there over the tribute to kill off that mine. He can now start grabbing the tribute to try and bait some players in. Once again, he's a kill off a mine. KB <laughs> has arrived though. But uh, Brightwing can actually get to the top lane very quickly. Abafer does not yet have his ult. He can only uh, symbiote. And that's exactly what he's going to do. Corvex being dropped very low. Joking. Uh, Joking caught in the middle there, but he gets. The yeah, Illidan is taken out as well. And Gordon needs to get away. First aid is can used. There comes the heal. Gordon. And wow, what a root out of Deathscape. Keeping oh both God. of them in there. And Ooh. Riga, he does get away. Dropped so low though, but this will be another tribute for SK. They do grab that, and now they're going for the Golem. Gonna try it and take that out, do as much damage as possible. Yeah, and that's the boss for SK. What a really nice follow-up here. Going for the uh, going for the tribute and the boss at the same time, just making that happen due to these two hero pickups, and now really strong engage here on Wow, Rega, a little bit of a mistake there. Yep, wasn't um, able to get out in time, was a bit too far forward. Nice hook there by Jokey, but hit a building, so was not able to get the hook. Wasn't able to pull uh, 7 out too far, and wouldn't have been able to do much if he did. Gordon is there, but once again, also not going to be able to do much when there are three to four members of SK. Let's check out the heroics. We have Blink Heal on Brightwing, Tom Commander Odin on Tychus, Shocker on Felsat, Army of the Dead on Arthas, and Storm Earth and Fire on Chen. What do you think about um, uh, about the Blink Heal? I like Blink Heal. I think it's a, by far the better ability. It's a lot of extra healing. It's basically giving Brightwing an escape she wouldn't otherwise have other than her speed boost and, you know, teleporting from point blank range of an enemy, mm -hmm. which is a risky maneuver. It's a good ability, a bit better than the Emerald Wind, which uh, when your team is a bit more groupy, like you have here, where you want people to be grouped up for Shock and Awe, you want people to be grouped up for Overdrive, Emerald Wind makes a lot more sense than displacing them all. Yeah, but I do like the Emerald Wind uh, just to keep these tributes, because if it's in a tight spot, not like here, but if it's in like in a tight spot, like in top, the top tribute spots, you can keep the enemy team out of the tribute. But Sergeant Hammer is doing good work just disrupting this tribute channeling and putting down a lot of mines. Ooh, and BKB jumping straight on top of these mines. There comes the shock and all. Everyone dodges out but Convex, and Jockey caught out of position. Nice body blocking, taking him out in in just a sec, and this should give control to this third and final tribute to SK. Yeah, this is not looking good for Dear Kinder Gaming. SK dominating these lanes at the moment. Gordon, having to back out, takes a lot of damage, but he is able to escape, which makes me want to quote Flash Gordon, but I will resist temporarily until he takes <laughs> Did you see damage. that dash on BZ, though? He dashed away from the tribute for a sec, because he knew that Stitches was coming down and trying to hook him. Oh, and Convex caught on position, oh, pops into his heroic. Rooted. The root from uh, Tychus, perfect timing, he was like, oh, he's going to teleport behind us. I'll root there, and gets the perfect timing, roots him the second he spawns. But what the heck happened to Abathur? Why was he down here? Uh, I do not know. I guess like, they he was in top lane him. the entire time, and now he just switched down here. Oh, we in trouble again. Link coming in, and there is the amazing body block out of SK. And they're going straight for the keep. They still have 25 seconds here. They could still get that keep with the yep, same tribute. That's what they're going to try and do. They're diving onto the keep. Abafer is here. Joki is also here, as well as Corvex. Corvex gets polymorphed and is now being chased down. There's the mule by Abafer. Corvex speed drop very low. Abafer keeps him alive, though. Joki now going to gorge Sepkaya and spit him into the core to try and do the damage. But it's BKB tanking the core. And he is currently staying alive. He's now having to shield himself. He's still taking core damage. Being dropped very low, but he is able to ult and get out of there. And oh, and Gordon is in trouble. Gordon. There's one more blood blood. Ancestral Gordon's healing, keeping alive. her alive. But BKB, he should be taken out. Nope, because still in this heroic and just now dropping oh. out. Oh, oh Jockey. That dash by Sebkr. Please tell me you saw that one. Yep. <laughs> that was fantastic. Great there. And Sebkr going to go on to Yui. BKB healing himself up. There is a lot of people. BKB is going to be in trouble, and he does go down. Yeah, but, jumping straight into the napalm. Yeah, so many people. You can't tank four people as Chen as much as it seems like it when you're fighting against him. You can't do it. Don't try.
Yeah, I mean, if he would have had full health and still all of his mana available, he could have stayed longer, uh, alive a little bit longer, but he still needs the support from his entire team uh, to turn it around, and they were all on the run, which made sense in that situation at least. And there's the Bruiser Camp taken by SK. They will get a bribe on for the Siege Giants in top lane. Yep, Dike in the gaming are starting their own Bruiser Camp, but they will pick that off quite quickly, so that will be a decent counter push for those Siege Giants in the top lane. But they have very little... Oh no, no, they also go to mid lane, don't they? So those will be a decent counter to the, to the Bruisers of SK in the mid lane. But SK are all grouped up here, and they are going to attempt to kill off these Bruisers quickly and distract uh, Daikinda Gaming here from those Siege Giants in the top lane so they can get as much Siege damage down as possible. Yeah, um, the Siege Giants are going at it at in top lane, and uh, they have no uh, yeah, no stopping power coming out of out of the Kimba Gaming so far. And the hook missing here by Jokey. Here comes the engage out of BKB, and Gordon caught out of position. Oh. Shock and awe taking her out. Jokey also trapped. <laughs> Jokey goes down. BKB was eaten, but he's just going to have a quick drink. Why wasn't he pulled there? He was not being blocked by any buildings, but okay. BKB going to finish off this keep, and it's actually going a bit on to Corvex. Going to do the damage down. In comes Sebke Arizona. There's nothing from Tadashi, but he does go down. Healing Totem. Oh, nice body back. block on Snow's back one more time. BKB is just yeah. sticking in front, drinking his brew, and getting rid of Snoky. BKB doing a fantastic job here, playing really well with the 10, knowing when to pop that shield, to tank towers, to tank enemies, just doing what Chen does, and that is tank. If you have more than zero health as Chen, you are ready to go. <laughs> and Deathscape not even moving out of the stun. And SK is already in a pretty good position for this next tribute. There's no tributes taken so far for Dikakinda. Which is kind of surprising since they um, they passed level 10 now, they have Sergeant Hammer and Abrather, so they could go for, for tributes, but so far not have been haven't been in a good position to take them. And that's the boss they need to defend now. Nice steal by SK. Yep, Sergeant Hammer is actually gonna be rooted, so we'll take a little bit of damage there, but not that much. Is in range of the uh, stun now, so needs to be careful. Might have to unseed to avoid that. Mule has come down, but that got sniped off pretty quickly. So that's unfortunate, but they are able to take down the golem before it even does a single ground pound. And now SK gonna begin taking their own golem. Yep, they will go for their own golem. Uh, it has been scouted out. Oracle has been popped here for the Kinder. And yeah, uh, the golem in top lane has of course been stopped, but now they have catapults and the golem in bot lane. And with that, SK can put up a really solid push. Right wing already on the offensive, surprisingly. Ooh, and that was a little bit risky, but Jokey missed his hook there. I would like to point out, I'm kind of liking the talent choice of Giant Killer from both Gordon and Corvex, just to try and pick off or give them a better chance against Arthas and Chen, just to try and get through all that health that they have. But as we can see, not really working. But that was a very nice hook by Jokey. There's the Gorge. Deathscape is now in a pretty tough position. Pops his ult. There comes the Blink heal, and everyone engages. And that was incredible by SK. Completely saving their teammate. He was pulled all the way back to basically the Horde of the Storms, and they still are able to get three people and are now onto the core. That is GG. Very well played by SK, and they will move on to the quarterfinals. Yeah, excellent move there. I was gonna say that Arthas was so dead, but in the end, um, wow. That blink heal coming in and then the entire team just jumping on top of everyone there. SK making the turnaround happen. Um, <laughs> in that in last engagement, I mean, they were on top of the, their game uh, this entire match. Two levels ahead at least. And yeah, I mean, definitely with the stronger team, team composition, I gotta say, as taking Sergeant Hammer and Abathur, uh, looks good in theory, but I don't know, with only stitches to really tank the damage, it doesn't really work out. They never got the they never got the really solid start yeah. they needed. Abafa was trying to copy stitches at times and it just it just didn't work out. Yeah. <laughs>